Welcome to the sixth tutorial in our series about getting started with Excel Deploy. In previous tutorials, we've talked about performing an initial deployment in Excel Deploy. In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the process of updating a deployed application. Excel Deploy always works with complete deployment packages that contain everything your applications need. You don't have to manually create a Delta package to perform an update. Instead, Excel Deploy's Autoflow engine calculates the delta between two packages automatically. When updating a deployed application, Excel Deploy identifies the configuration items in each package that differ between the two versions. It then generates an optimized deployment plan that only contains the steps that are needed to change these items. This could include copying a file to the target system or deleting a file from the target system. Let's look at a configuration item that has changed between versions 1.0 and 2.0 of an application. In the repository, I will select the DB connection resource in version 1.0 of my application and choose to compare it to another configuration item. Then I'll drag in DB connection from the 2.0 package. I can easily see the properties that differ between them. Now let's perform a simple update. I'll locate my application in the development environment where version 1.0 is deployed and then drag it into the deployment workspace. I want to update to version 2.0, so I'll drag in the version 2.0 package. In the plan analyzer, I can see that the plan only contains the steps that are required to update the deployed application to version 2.0. Payroll app hasn't changed, so there aren't any steps in the plan to update it. Now I'll go to the plan and execute it. In the release dashboard, I can see that version 2.0 is now running in the development environment. And when I return to the deployment workspace, I'll see the version of the deployed application is 2.0. Let's look at a scenario in which a configuration item hasn't changed in the new version, but still needs to be updated. This can happen if the value for a placeholder that the item uses has been changed. For example, my package contains an application binary called payroll app, which is the same in versions 1.0 and 2.0. I'm going to change the value of a placeholder that it uses. This value is stored in a dictionary that's associated with the development environment. Now I'm going to update the deployed application, which is version 1.0. I'll follow the same steps as before, first dragging the deployed application to the deployment workspace, and then dragging in the version 2.0 package. In this case, the resulting plan includes a step to modify payroll app. And when I check the properties of the payroll app deployed, I can see the new placeholder value that I just defined in the dictionary. I also have the option to change the placeholder value on the fly while setting up the update instead of changing it in the dictionary. Here, I've set up an update without changing the placeholder value in the dictionary. I'll edit the properties of the payroll app deployed and set a new value for the placeholder. Again, the plan includes a step to update payroll app accordingly. Excel Deploy can easily handle deployments to auto-scaling environments. Let's see what happens when I add a new container, a second application server. I've already defined the new application server in my infrastructure, so I just need to add it to the development environment. As before, I'll set up an update from version 1.0 to version 2.0 of the application. The plan analyzer shows the steps that are needed to update the application on the target server where it's already deployed. To add the second application server as a target, I just have to click the Auto Map button. Auto mapping can be done automatically if you trigger Excel Deploy using a continuous integration tool like Jenkins, Bamboo, or TFS, or using the command line interface or the HTTP API. Now, the deployment plan shows that Excel Deploy will update the old server with the items that have changed and deploy the application on the new server. 
Now you should be familiar with the update process in Excel Deploy. In the next tutorial, we'll see how you can easily roll back a full or partial deployment.